In 2005, the Georgia Institute of Technology received a contract from the U.S. Navy to develop a new type of wheeled armored vehicle. The project was mainly for technical exploration and not to replace existing vehicles such as the Humvee. The university quickly unveiled the Ultra AP in September of the same year. The Ultra AP was developed based on the Ford F-350 pickup truck. It is like an armored version of a pickup truck, with the basic layout being the same as a regular pickup truck, with the engine compartment at the front, followed by the driver's cabin slash passenger compartment, and a small cargo box at the back. The vehicle weighs approximately 4 tons, with a length of 4.445 meters and a width of 1.664 meters. It is powered by a turbocharged diesel generator, capable of producing 350 horsepower, and is equipped with a 5-speed transmission. The vehicle does not have many innovations in terms of suspension and brakes, but it does have a new computer control system and power generation system, although specific performance details are not known. The driver's cabin slash passenger compartment of the Ultra AP is a bread-shaped multifaceted chamber, with a steel pipe frame for support and irregular bulletproof glass on all sides. This design allows for ample visibility for the crew, and the sloping design enhances defensive capabilities, while the chamber itself can act as a rollover protection structure. The vehicle uses welded steel armor, with armor thickness only able to withstand small caliber weapons and small improvised explosive devices. Members are provided with blast-resistant seats to reduce injuries, a technology obtained from professional race car designers. If additional defense is required, additional armor plates can be bolted on, and the underside of the vehicle is designed with detachable V-shaped armor plates for easy replacement after damage from explosions. The Ultra AP can accommodate six people, including the driver, with irregular doors on the side of the chamber and a top hatch. There are also gangways on the outside of the doors. The prototype did not display any weapon configurations, but there is a circular hatch above the chamber, where weapon mounts or turret mounts can be installed, and a remote weapon station can be seen in the concept drawing. The Ultra AP is a concept armored patrol vehicle, and its armor design and chassis are considered successful. The Georgia Institute of Technology further optimized this design and proposed the Ultra 2 four years later, claiming that the related design had been tested at Aberdeen and showed good personnel protection capabilities. The idea of converting civilian vehicles into military vehicles was considered feasible. However, the Ultra AP is just a concept vehicle. In recent years, many professional military companies have proposed similar concept vehicle models, but very few have been mass-produced and put into service. Ultimately, equipment updates and iterations require funding, and no country's finances can afford to mass-produce and put into service a concept equipment that looks good without careful consideration.